guys uh welcome back to burnt river ranch i just wanted to give you guys a little update on what we've been doing here um so we've been pretty busy with lots of babies we've got uh chicks everywhere and we've got baby pigs everywhere and everyone is doing really good but peppa's litter is about three weeks old now and they're due to get castrated so i believe we'll be castrating them today and they're doing so good they were a little bit small when they were born and i haven't quite pinned down why that is but they seem to be picking up really well and growing good so i don't have any worries about them now and three of those pigs will be staying back to take part in our pastured pork program that's where we rotationally graze pigs in the bush and pasture on grass they have access to forest and bugs and all that good natural stuff and they get moved to new spots every few days as needed we are hoping that we can build some more permanent pasture type structures this year either electric fence or not just something so that our operation is just a little bit more efficient it is awesome to be moving pigs with the what we used last year was electric netting it's actually an ovenet by gallagher it's meant for sheep and goats but it worked awesome for the pigs it really kept them in there was only a couple times where they escaped one of those days being our wedding day <laughs> but never mind that it did work good otherwise um anyways we're hoping to add just a little bit more efficiency to our operation so i don't have to move them around quite as often that would be great um and i don't know if we'll be building another pig barn this year or not but it's something that we are considering it is something that we need to be able to grow our operation so that we can farrow out more sows and be able to sell more wiener pigs, which is something that we would like to do. But I'm just not sure if we're gonna go ahead with that or not this year with the way lumber prices are in Canada. It's a little bit crazy. So something that we're still on the fence about for sure, but it would be super nice to have. So I haven't decided on that yet. We are going to be putting our pigs, our butcher pigs, in our garden this year to help till it up and move around some compost in there and add some natural compost of their own into there. Uh, last year we just tilled up our hay field, a section of our hay field, and as you know, we struggled a little bit with flooding in our yard last year. Uh, the water ran through one corner of the garden spot, so it was just really, really moist in there all um, the whole growing season. And so our stuff really didn't do very well. The only thing that we really got out of the garden was carrots and I'm feeding all those carrots to the pigs and chickens. So yeah, so this year we're hoping if we just leave it fallow and let the pigs do their thing in there and then till it up, maybe put some silage tarp over top of it, that next year it'll be a little bit better for us to grow things. I have also been uh, getting over the flu. It was pretty bad. Me and my daughter both had it. She had it first and then I got it. Uh, my husband never got it, so that's good. Cause I don't know what I would have done if we were both sick at the same time but I'm feeling a lot better now and so is my daughter and we tested negative for COVID so no COVID over here I kind of thought it was COVID because we had all the symptoms of COVID but apparently not so I don't know if that's good or bad I kind of wish I had it just so I could get, get it over with but it is what it is my colts a lot i have one colt i'm doing an online colt starting competition with right now but of course he's lame so he's been on the back burner for a bit he's got a pretty significant case of thrush and he also has a pretty good cut on his heel so he's healing from that i've been treating him twice a day for that stuff and he seems to be getting better um and other than that just like dealing with chicks we are switching over our whole laying flock over to orpingtons I've decided that I would like to get into that breed, um, stay into the purebred chickens instead of the barnyard mix. I just find it's a little bit easier to sell chicks and hatching eggs if I have extras, and a little bit more demand for that. And I also like those chicken breeds because they are a dual purpose breed. You can eat the roosters or extra hens if you wanted to, and there's a good demand for selling chicks and they lay a lot of eggs which is important. I figured if I'm going to be feeding chickens, I might as well be feeding purebred chickens that lay me lots of eggs and I can get a little bit of money from them to help pay for their feed and keep the business going. It's good to diversify. 
And the silkies are doing really good as well. I'm trying to grow my flock, so I have a few stragglers that I sell once in a while and a few hashing eggs when the incubator is full. But other than that, um, trying to grow them up a bit because I really like silkies and a lot of other people do too. And I've been having good success with them. This little guy is black, mostly black guy. He is my favorite. He's kind of the runty one, but he's super, super cute. He looks like a little Peppa, but without the belt. And he is just like the most adorable little pig I've ever seen in my life. And he's growing really well and he's just doing so good, but he is so freaking cute. I love him. I've named our uh, butcher pigs Forrest, Jenny, and Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan after Forrest Gump. So this little guy is Forrest and the other one that's staying is the little girl, the spotty one back there and that's Jenny. And then the other one that's staying is this guy here, I think. The one on the left with the black and white. He is going to be named Lieutenant Dan. I don't know if there's too, too much else that's been on the go other than just enjoying the nice weather and hoping to get some projects done. We're due for some precipitation starting tomorrow, unfortunately, so that's kind of crappy, but you know, with a new homestead, there's always mud, so extra water adds more mud and stops things from drying up. But we're hoping after this water, maybe our grass that we planted last year will grow good. It's kind of started growing last year and then stopped when it got cold, so hopefully it'll grow and we'll be able to plant some more and get rid of some mud in here. Anyways, uh, take care, guys. I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.